By the end of this video, you're going to know of the best AI tool for automating any task or for starting an AI business in 2026. For example, you could get this tool to automate your email for you. You could get it to automate social media for you. And if you wanted to start an AI business with it, you could actually get it to build the business for you, to build an app, or to build a website. And you're not going to want to miss out on all the different examples I'm going to share with you in this video of how you could use this tool to make 2026 the best year that you've ever had and to take advantage of this AI gold rush. Now that AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Deep Agent by Abacus AI because whether you're trying to start a business for 2026, you're trying to automate things, or you just want to be able to access the latest and greatest AI tools, this is an all-in-one AI tool that allows you to do all of those things. For example, we could come over here and see an automation that I had set up where I said, build a workflow in multiple steps that I want you to first check this website for new articles written in the last 24 hours, second, summarize each of them, and then third, send me a message on Slack with the topic, a summary, and a link to each of them. In fact, this is how I stay on top of AI news for my YouTube channel, for all my other social media content, and for my community. And then what this goes through and does is ask a few questions here. I answer them, and then it goes through. It authenticates the connection with my Slack and then goes through and actually runs this. And we could see that this workflow was then created and we could manage it all from right here. So if we click on task management, I have this pause right now because I was just on vacation, but we could see that this is currently on and if we wanted to we could click in here and i can actually show you exactly what this looks like so if we come over here and click on edit right here we could see exactly what the instructions are we could see that we have email alerts and look at this this is literally a 10-step process that this can go through and do anytime that we want now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on resume right here. Then I'm going to click over here and actually get this to run so that you could see exactly what it looks like. So I just came over here. I clicked on test task and now we can see that this is going through and running. But in the past, I want to show you what this actually looks like. We could see that this goes through and runs this with computer options, it scrapes, and then it even goes through and then gives us the output in Slack. Now we could come over to my Slack and I could show you what this looks like the last time that I ran it before the holidays and we could see that this went through and found me tons of different articles that were posted on this website, the published date, what the actual topic was, the link to it, and a short summary right here. And then we're going to see that in just a few seconds, all of my new updates for today are going to be sent over on Slack once this completes. And what's really powerful about this is not only does this go through and automate things, but this went through and integrated with Slack. This goes through and scrapes a random website. It summarizes things. So we literally have this doing like 10 different tasks that in the past a human would have to do. In fact, it would take an hours for a human to do this, but now AI does this and with literally just a very simple setup like this, and boom, you know how this task automated. And essentially what you should do is go through with everything that you're currently doing manually or that your team is doing manually and get AI to automate it like this. Now we can see that this went through and it processed seven different articles that there was one new article that was identified and we could see that it went through the last two days of posting. And if we come over to Slack right here, we could see that this now sent in new things and this just sent this right now. So we could see this article right here and it gives us all the information that we need so I could keep my community up to date. And the next thing that we could get this to automate is actually posting this in my community for me. Now, I don't want you to think that that's the only thing that this can automate because we could also come over here and get this to monitor different things. For example, monitor daily prices of these skincare products. And then we go through and list out the different products where they should be monitored. And we could see that we can ask this to open each competitor's product page for the same or closest match item to record the current listed price, take a screenshot of the product page, and generate a CSV report with all of these different columns and then email us that CSV report over and we could see right here that this is showing off several different things. We have this scraping a website, taking screenshots, turning it into a CSV file and this can now go through and do all of that and email it to us whenever we want. Now, in order to actually get this set up, what this is gonna do is go through and ask us a few questions, like what email address this should be sent to. It asks for some product specifications, an initial baseline, and price matching. And then what this will actually go through is go through and monitor things. And I want you to think about all the different capabilities for this, because you don't only have to do this with products. You could get this to look for new products on competitors' websites or for certain searches. You could get this to find discounts for you. You could also get this to do things like monitor socks or your portfolio and stuff like that and alert you of when things happen and 
so much more. Now what this has now gone through and done is this has actually went through and created this workflow. And as we can see right here, this goes through and created a seven step workflow. So step number one is it's gonna load the historical price data. Step number two is it's going to go to all these places. Three, it's going to compare those prices. Then it's going to generate that CSV report. It's going to append the current day's price data to the historical database. It's then going to create that email summary detailing all the changes in establishments and any errors, then it's going to send an email. So not only is this doing work for you the same way that an employee would or somebody else working for you would, or you would personally do for yourself, it's also going to send you an email so you could identify any errors that might occur. Then once this is actually running, here's exactly what this looks like. This isn't me doing this on a computer. This is AI going through and doing this, and we could see everything that it's doing on the left-hand side right here, the dozens of computer actions that it's taking, and then this is the email and the report that we're gonna end up getting. We can see right here, this is exactly what this looks like. We have this beautiful looking report right here with everything that we need for this right here. And we can also see that it attached all these different screenshots. So I want you to think about this. The two tasks that I just showed you integrated with different tools, took action on different tools and did so much more. And this really shows off to you how you could automate anything with this tool with a simple prompt. Now the benefits of Deep Agent don't stop there and I don't want you to think that that's all that you could do with this tool because it's great that this tool lets you automate pretty much anything that you want but it can also help you start a business for 2026 using AI. If you need to build an app, it could do that. If you need to build a website, it could do that and it could do so much more and we're about to get into that. But before we do, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below right now and get started with Deep Agent today for only $10 a month. And this isn't only gonna give you access to Deep Agent, it also gives you access to Code LOM and Chat LOM, which allows you to access every AI tool and every AI model all from one subscription. If that sounds interesting, I would strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and sign up for it today. Now, the first example of an app that I wanted to show you is going to be something like this, asking this to build a job board aggregator for specific jobs. Now, this is going to be showing this off for just these specific jobs, but what I think would be really powerful is if somebody watching this video built a job board, but it was very specific to specific roles or any role that anybody wanted because now this is possible with AI. So essentially what this is going to do is this is going to scrape the latest job postings from the web. It is going to deduplicate the entries and it's going to preserve only original apply links. And then after that, it's going to filter by position, industry, location, experience level, company and it's going to show the source attribution for each listing and essentially what this is going to do is go through and show you the latest job postings for anything that you are interested in and we can see right here that this feed is going to refresh two times a day. So now this goes through and very similar to all the other tests, asks us a few questions. We just go through and answer them. And then this goes through and codes this entire thing. And we could see that it codes it incredibly quickly. And now we have this job board aggregator right here. And we could see all the different things that were created here. And we could see that this is now running as a task where it'll go through and scrape this multiple times a day. Okay, so here's what this actually looks like now. We could see the total jobs. We could see how many of the roles are for SWE, which is software engineer. We could see how many are for data science, how many are for project management. And we could come over here and filter each of these. And we could see that this right here is specific to tech careers. But what I'm actually recommending somebody watching this do, and I would have loved to have this 10 years ago when I was looking for a job, is where you have this job port aggregator that's actually personalized to you. Because right now you go on to Indeed, you go on to LinkedIn, you go on to Job Monster, you go on to all of these different tools in order to try to find things. But why do that when AI can scrape these all, update them for you, show you the ones that are specific to you, and show you the things that just you care about all from one screen right here instead of you having to go through and track them all manually. And as we can see, we can scroll down and there are tons of different roles, tons of different jobs, all of this works. And this was all one shotted with just one prompt. And the power of Deep Agent is not only that it's able to build this, but that AI is automatically built in. Because if you got another vibe coding tool to build this out, it wouldn't have built in AI. It wouldn't have this instant apply feature right here. And it wouldn't be able to refresh as frequently as this does. But Deep Agent makes that incredibly easy to do because it's all of these different AI tools built into one. Or let's say that you wanted to build out something, for example, a modern visually engaging website for an in-person workshop, and you wanted to be able to collect payments on it, Deep Agent can actually build that out for you 
pretty quickly. All you have to do is type in a prompt like this and then specify inside your prompt what I have right here under call to action where it says repeat the register now button after each major section and add fixed pricing and use Stripe integrations for the pricing. Now what this is going to go through and do is code out this website and ask for our Stripe details or tell us how we could find them in order to submit it so that this will build out a website that can actually collect payments and you can begin getting paid. So what this is now going to go through is ask us those questions. We actually go through and we give it this information right here and then we could see this is now going through and this codes out this entire thing right here very quickly and we can deploy it and manage it all from right here. We can see exactly what this looks like and when we come down here and click on this button, you're going to be able to see that we can actually pay directly from here and in collecting payments. And this happened right here in minutes where we went from idea to a very simple prompt. We gave that to Deep Agent, and now we have a deployed website that we can collect payments on and you could manage everything directly from Deep Agent. Now this last use case that I wanted to highlight here kind of builds off of what I was showing you earlier. So if you remember what I showed you earlier was an automation that would message me on Slack. Now let's say I didn't want it to message on Slack and I just wanted a dashboard. We could actually build out something like this. So we're asking this to build a funding square bento box style dashboard that aggregates verified startup funding news from credible sources. Now, essentially what this is doing is this is going to scrape things, and then it's going to populate all of that on a dashboard. So you can also build out internal tools like this that your team can use. And in this video, I've showed you how to build out automations and how to automate things. I've showed you how to build apps, how to build websites, how to begin collecting payments with AI, and now how to actually build internal tools so that your team can have all the information that they need. Because so what this is gonna go through and do is ask us those few questions again, we're going to answer them, and then instantly this goes through and builds us out and we could see this to-do list right here, all of the scraping that it's doing, all of the coding that it's doing, and then we have this solution where we can now go through on our dashboard that's updated three times a day, as we could see right here, that is going to get us all the latest startup news, all the different fundraising, and we could change this to have anything that we want, which allows us to build out internal tools to help you or your team be better at their job. And you could also build this out for other companies for complex solutions and complex dashboards that they'd want to see with AI in just a few minutes, and you could charge them for it. Now, if you want to learn all the other things that you could do with this all-in-one AI tool, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a handful of other things that you could do that I didn't cover in this video. I'll see you over there.